Hey guys, Tyler here, Kingdom of Stranger Card Game, uh, back for a vlog. So, I got some new markers. Um, currently, uh, right now I use Tombow watercolor markers. And I was actually thinking about doing a review of those for a video in the future in case you're interested in using those. Um, but I am wanting to delve into alcohol-based markers. Now, uh, I know the top cream de la creme is Copics, but those are expensive. And I figured for making a homemade trading card game and I, like, I just figured Artist Loft, I did a lot of research, would be kind of the best level of alcohol markers for me to get. Because they, they are a little bit pricey, um, but they're, you're not breaking the bank. So I already have a landscape. It was like a 12, 12 color set. I have a landscape set. So I have like two shades of brown, blues, greens, and some grays and blacks. Uh, so then... I also got primary. The thing that's really nice about the alcohol markers is that you can really get some good color grades with them and kind of create the other colors that you don't have because the alcohol ink really goes over each other well. And then I also got the floral set. And the reason why I got the floral is I just felt that uh, the floral colors would give me a good bridge to other colors. So I'm curious. Um, I'm going to do a review of these markers for a later video, but I was thinking about doing like a one pack marker challenge uh, for this one and then a separate video for this one. And then I actually have a pack of Tombow watercolor markers that I have yet to open. So basically what I'm asking you, if you're watching this, would you rather see individual videos for each of these um, or possibly just an alcohol based marker um, like chat, uh, challenge, pack thing, whatever. Um, I'm just curious because I don't want to overload, but if it's something that you're into, it'd be kind of nice to break it up because this is a vlog, I'll update you guys. So I did, I'm recording this video on a Saturday, um, but it'll be released in a little bit of time. My last vlog leading up to this, or yeah, leading up to this was showing you that I had just finished all the artwork for set three. But now what I've went through and done uh, in my folder is I, went through all the different kingdoms and started indicating what their rarity would be, and then also indicating which of the kingdom's cards would be in the starter deck. And so that is all some stuff that I'm working on. And actually, uh, my wife is going to be gone this weekend, uh, starting tonight and tomorrow. Um, so I'm gonna have a lot of time to just you know, be by myself because, you know, when she's home, I obviously can't, I don't, I can't be cooped on the computer all the time. Uh, so I'm going to try to take advantage of this time, just me and the doggos, and they're both just chilling and sleeping right now. But I'm going to try to get a majority of set three done. And I actually, um, in terms of like getting the art on the cards and getting, I've already made and designed the starter deck boxes. I've already designed the booster pack uh, packaging. One other thing that I was thinking of, and then I'll wrap up this vlog. So... My starter decks are currently $21, $22. That's the cheapest I can make them. I'm not really making much money off of a starter deck that I sell because I want to make them as cheap and affordable for you to buy them. Uh, the reason why the decks are so expensive, though, is because they come with a 40-card starter deck. They come with a 5-card sacred deck. They come with a rule book. They come with an additional random rare or, or ultra rare. And then they also come with a random foil. So all of that adds up to be $20, $21. And I don't know about you, even as someone that is making his own game, I kind of have a hard time buying it at $20 uh, just because it can add up. So I'm trying to think of another product idea um, in addition to the booster packs, in addition to the collector packs, in addition to the starter decks of a of a some sort of product that gives you more cards, uh, but it's not necessarily a pre-constructed deck. Uh, but it's giving you more cards than a booster pack, but you have a better idea of what's in there. Um, I would really appreciate some help and feedback on that. You can comment on this video or join the Discord, and I have a separate tab for like product ideas and stuff. I would love some input there and see what I should do, because um, I just want to make the game more readily available for you guys. Um, yeah, because I just want to get it more in your hands. This is a vlog, so for a Bible talk, I'll just encourage you to make sure you're spending some time with Jesus, because that is very important, and that is something that I'm going to do at the time uh, when I'm done recording this video, because I have to do that today, and I need to do that. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe, and if you like watching these vlogs, I have a whole playlist of a bunch of other vlogs that you should watch, and I've, I've put all my other videos into a bunch of playlists so if you're interested in gameplay or art or product opening they've all been nice and neatly organized so you can watch those thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video thanks